eight thirty, we are right on time. It's like now we let's go deeper into this. Let's go deeper into this. Okay, yeah. Let's let's go through this, Anil. Let's take your thing as a weakness. Anil, you ask the right question. Recruiters mostly look at education. Recruiters mostly look at experience. Now, can I say one thing? Is I'll be really honest with you. Okay, last few days I've been discussing with couple of recruiters, literally. You know that's how I learn what is happening in the market. I actually network to learn from my peers. You know what's happening and all that. And I tell them, I tell them on their face. Actually, I mean, it's, it's not like. me versus them i tell them that the method i tell my students is anti recruiters how many of you have felt that i actually tell you do not play the game of recruiters what game recruiters play and it's not guys we are not against them it's not about enemy or something they play their own game based on their limitations and it's their job what what there are three things they do they only look at your resume quickly they don't know you they just take a quick glance of your resume yes do you think you can really present on your resume no right i mean even if you use the best templates and all that there's a limitation it's a highlight right i keep saying the second thing they do is that they look for similar experience if today they are looking for this job role they actually would like the best person would be working for their competitor in the exact position literally why because they will know that you know ye ye isne kiya hoga ye kaam it will be very easy for him he will fit in he knows the industry he knows the role and probably because of it's the in a competing company or similar company he kind of knows how to do that job like most likely getting selected right and the third thing they do is for them you are one in 100 at least right there is no respect you are getting from the recruiters because for them you are one more application so if you don't pick up their call they will call someone else if you don't appear for interview they will call someone else if you don't you know uh, have the necessary skill set or have mixed experience have career changer have a gap they have other candidates which don't have that guys do you agree with this that they play this game and that's what anil is saying that they look at experience they look at education they look at this they look at that and they actually find out at least i mean in the interview course i have given 22 week links resume objections they find any of these objection on you i think there hasn't been any champion who has told me i should have no objections on my profile i have the perfect profile it doesn't happen it doesn't exist right yes so guys all these keywords and all that absolutely is important guys i'm not saying it's not important but in today's session let me tell you let me tell you as it's a rejection process you are absolutely right for them it's a rejection process but for you in rajit it is one job right you want every job right you want every opportunity you want every interview call for you it's not a rejection right for you it's not like there are endless list of companies and you can get anywhere no i mean yes i want you to get multiple calls but it's not easy guys in today's session in last session we tried to play their game we said let's brand ourselves on linkedin so well let's have a so good resume targeted resume so that they search for us and we discussed about getting inbound calls we come in their searches when they see our profile on linkedin or on nokri they get impressed when they click you know we get to know profile views on linkedin recruiter actions on nokri so we are trying to play their game okay that is stage 4 the first part sorry stage 5 the first part of it yes let's play their game if you get inbound calls great in today's session i will ask you to play your game what is our game everyone what is champions game what is one word i keep repeating throughout courses throughout sessions type that in the chat box who, who are you i'm on your side right even though i talk to recruiters i want to know their side i'm on your side i think value giver vishali i want you to play your game what is value giver it's like you don't work for recruiters you don't work for that resume you don't work for interviews you finally want a job and work for that real guy 
who would be your boss or department head or you would be the department and you would be the gm you would be the plant head you would be the cfo we have all those people in our community maybe you will work for the customers of the company or you will have internal stakeholders of the company <laughs> you indirectly work for your boss any ceo also has a boss which is board of directors or something everyone has a boss right everyone has a stakeholder everyone has a customer yes you indirectly want to work there solving their problems what is your value proposition right i keep asking you that's what you put in elevator page that's what you do for them that's the value you give to them now let me ask you do recruiters really understand this be honest and there are recruiters and hr people in our community all respect to them guys they are awesome people but they are limited by their understanding they are just one of the department in a company you don't want to work for hr i mean unless you are hr yourself you want to work for that department your hiring manager would know the real value of you how many of you have understood this exactly indrajit that's my point how many of you have understood that your real boss your real internal or external stakeholder would understand your value rather than a recruiter or hr do you agree with me that really they will be able to test you they will be able to understand what you are saying they will be able to understand what you bring to the table or the bullet points in your experience section or the it skills you have the certifications you have done or the kind of projects you have completed or the you know metrics you have shown the real understanding even i don't understand that much right even if i do my best i will be limited by my knowledge hr people are limited by their knowledge and that's why in this stage let's play our game now who understands is the your probable boss is the department head now how do we reach to them is the question as that's why you have to do networking that's why you have to do reach outs are you understanding now to generate references now let's go into references part of it why do you think references happen is it is it cheating guys is it i mean i i know some people who think be, because of lack of knowledge they think reference means you know matlab back door entry it is cheating it is like you know trying to i don't know butter up the person and get a job or something do you think like that is anyone here who has sort of this kind of thing and it you know it's genuinely in the market people think like that absolutely not true okay guys how many of you check reviews before buying anything online how many of you check reviews of the products before you buy anything online check reviews of the hotels check reviews of the products on amazon hotels on uh, you know uh, let's say uh, this uh, make my trip guys you go to a new location you know you change your place you must have done that many of you you want a new doctor now we have this practo and all that do you believe in that or would you actually ask your ex colleague or sorry would you ask your colleague there are kon acha doctor hai apne area mein you know my child needs it how many of you will ask a person around you for even for a plumber even for an electrician even for these services we want we ask around like koi acha hai kya यू नो आपसे आप आप में से काम किया है क्या तो मैं मैं से मैं भी उससे साथ ले लूंगा हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गो लाइक दिस दिस इज नेचुरल राइट दिस इज नथिंग न्यू फर्स्ट थिंग यू आस्क मेनी टाइम्स इज योर नेबर योर रिलेटिव योर फ्रेंड योर कलीग दैट कोई है क्या दैट्स वॉट दे वॉन्ट टू डू एज सिंपल इज दिस दे वॉन्ट टू नो रिव्यूज अबाउट यू बिफोर इवन दे चेक योर रेज्यूमे and more importantly even before they accept you getting my point is yes. getting my point now let me ask you why they want this you also put yourself in their shoes just like you chose a doctor based on reviews why why you chose 
a person not based on just technical expertise see you could have checked doctors uh, skills doctors okay kahan se kiya hai acche college se kiya hai kya okay kitne saal ka experience hai does doctor show you success stories before you know asking you to pay does doctor show you you know i mean they have those uh, their degrees on the wall because it's compulsory but do you ask them that kisse kiya kitne marks mile the tujhe before treating you guys do you check that or do you actually check real reviews in the market someone has have told you now you see the difference how many of you see the difference that you don't check doctors who is going to treat you by the way don't check all the time all these experiences skills you know success stories and you know all these things or marks in their uh, doctor you know thing you actually ask for references you actually ask for reviews about that doctor you actually ask for success stories within your community within your people guys now have you understood why recruiters might reject you based on your education experience but still your hiring manager would accept you have you got the difference now i'm giving you very simple understanding to make sure you believe in this first we talked about quitter we talked about complainer i want you to remove all these fears and complaints about that does this work how many of you are with me now have understood just like you check doctors reviews not his marks or certificates they also are ready to skip past your mix profile your career change your layoff your career gap or anything which you feel is because of that you are getting rejected they are ready to skip past that for what if they trust that you are going to give results in the future if they trust that the person who worked with you before is giving you a strong rep maybe the best reference is from your boss huh, by the way if you can get it not always sometimes bosses also don't do a good job with them but they are checking this thing now let me ask you guys why because i really want you to understand this and do not have these objections why they depend on a referral not on your resume or your certificates or your marks why do they trust a referral ask lily i mean let me know your answer why do they trust a referral why do they trust and their existing employee talking about you why do they trust a friend probably or their ex colleague talking about you why do they trust that more than a government uh, you know notified certificate actually right which is you know your all your certificates or even your experience letters will be a reputed ones right why do they trust the known person why what's what's missing here or why why do they trust that Come on, come on! Why do they trust a known person reference, their existing employee reference, or even ex colleague or a friend reference, than your experience letters or your certificates or what you are telling on your resume? Why do they tend to trust them? <coughs> reliability, yes, reliable, easy to adopt. Okay, they want to know the person on work at work behavioral aspect. how many of you agree with this that you know indrajit seems to be on fire lot of answers so you're right right they want to have reliable answer in the sense resume mein sab kuch sab kuch acha dikhta hai but does it really true they want to know behavioral part of it which cannot be tested so easily you know interviews tend to do a average job but it's really difficult to test behavioral aspects they want to know the person at work means actual kaam mein kaisa hai especially in functional roles in technical roles they can give you a test they can give you a case they can give you a coding environment and test things objectively in functional roles in leadership skills in managerial skills in project management skills in decision making in creativity these skills are very difficult to test within that short time there are tests actually possible but they are all theoretical tests which very difficult to you know map those results onto a real job but if a person has worked with you that could be a very valuable input ground reality is another word for it sach mein hai kya ye 
Guys, you are getting my point. Why they trust you? Sorry, why they trust the thing? And now let me come back. All this gyan I am giving you for last fifteen minutes. So why? If you are not getting calls using traditional methods, if you are not seeing any job opportunities on job portals, if you are a career changer, if you have a long gap or a big layoff or you know any career problem which is not easy to you know like counter. Yes, I mean, I'm, guys, I'm not saying it is impossible, but in a traditional route, I'm saying, with respect to recruiters, you are changing your role or industry. You are changing your geography. You know, there are people in our career champions club, or you know, going out of India or coming back to India and all that. You have to play your game, not play the recruiter game. Clear? Clear? Why actually I put more emphasis on this stage? Why from the starting only I'm making sure you understand don't play the job portals game and do not play the recruiters game. I'm not saying do not play at all. Keep it as one or two types of things. But this third type, which is strategic reach out and networking, this is where you need to put more efforts. See LinkedIn profile ek bar bana diya. वो आता रहता है आपको इनबोर्न कॉल्स आते रहते हैं एक बार अच्छा रेज्यूमे बना दिया ज्यादा काम नहीं होता वहां पे बट नाउ दिस इज द स्टेज वेर यू नीड मोर एफर्ट्स टू बी पुट आई बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट इट नीड इज लिटिल एफर्ट यस इफ दैट इज द केस देन दे हैव टू स्क्रोल ऑल एप्लीकेशन एंड गेट द फीडबैक एंड आई डिड नॉट गेट वॉट यूर सींग इन रजित बट बेसिकली दिस इज वॉट इज इट इज वर्ड ऑफ माउथ मार्केटिंग यू कैन कॉल मल्टीपल थिंग्स एक्चुअली येस येस it is that only <clears throat> guys whenever you know uh, uh, an achiever interview takes place i tell that achiever huh, that you use my method for this job search great you did that i congratulations but the next job search i'm saying you know 3 years later whatever you will be back you know thinking about the next opportunity should be inbound should be word of mouth should be they reaching out to you should be you're just you know asking people and they telling you that there is an opening inside okay next time you should not be in a let me say scarcity mindset you should be like abundant mindset in terms of number of opportunities like you always get the next opportunity guys have you seen this happening with you or your friend that you got the job when you were not looking you got the job when you were not like searching or desperate about it you did not apply that hard but you got it and it was better it was you know salary was better and you made a move or your colleagues did that or you know you have seen it happening it is all the time true huh, by the way it is true with promotions also by the way it is with promotions also of course you have to do a good job and all these things i'm not saying that but you were not like desperate for it but it happened because of all the right things you did yes guys that's what we are talking about here let's go deeper into this networking aspect today and i have lot of examples and it is also i want you to do this week itself so that you can practice this okay let's go deeper into this today's is how do you generate interview calls using networking okay